What's up, guys? What's happening? What's going on? Welcome back. Uh, we're going to try to do Laura Croft again today. Um, I basically... I installed a different version of it um, and migrated my save over there and made sure that it loaded and and played a little bit. Um, and everything seems to work, so we're going to try to do it again because um, I really want to finish uh, the series because it's, you know, it's such a good game. So we're going to try and do that. What do we got? Provided everything still works exactly as I intend. Which it may or may not. Hydrate Luna. Hello. Hold on. How are you doing, Luna? How are things? I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're doing good, but we'll settle for okay. Um, I wasn't aware. Oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Which one is this? Uh, Tomb Raider. <laughs> there we go. I changed everything except the actual game. Ah, yes. So, well, thank you for uh, for letting me know, Luna, so that I could fix it. I think I'm ever good when it's called. Oh yeah, you. You you don't handle the cold well, being tiny and all. I mean, I get cold easy, and you're significantly tinier than I am. Um, so I can only imagine. Is this loading? Okay. Oh, but it's full screen. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Thank you for letting me know I didn't change the game. Oh. Continue. And I do believe it was this one. They all say 0%. I don't know why. They don't. That information is just permanently gone, I guess. I migrated to the saves, but there's some stuff like that that it just seemed to not move over. So technically, this says that I have never played this game, but I'm exactly where we left off last time. At least, this is what I recall. We had just finished um, trying to rescue, um, I forget his name, Alex? Was his name Alex? The nerdy guy. Um, we, uh, he, he, he wanted to go out with a bang, and so we weren't able to save him, but we did get the tools that we originally came for. So then we were gonna head back, presumably have a discussion about how Alex got lost and probably have what's her name blame us for 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 his death also because she's just a salty ass bitch for some reason. I have no idea why. <laughs> um oh okay, so you know what's funny is it seems to be Forming better. Hold on. Let me disable preview. Rev, no cursing. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> you, <laughs> Rev, do you just wait for me to say a heckin' curse and then you, uh, and then you, you claim it? <laughs> Rev, no. Rev, I, 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 I can't, I can't. I have a hard time with the whole, you know, not cursing thing. It's so, it's very difficult for me. What's the timer on that? Is that 10 minutes or five? I can't remember. 
We're gonna look it up. We're gonna look it up. Um. Where 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 did I put it? Hmm. Um, I have too many redeems. That is what I have come to the conclusion of. I'm very confused. No cursing 100 minutes. It is not 100 minutes. No, absolutely not. Where is, where is it though? Hold up. Oh, there it is. Five minutes. Okay. There we go. One minute per point spent. I don't think so. I could. Oh, my goodness. Ref. No. You can't. Ref, wait. Rev, slow down. Rev, hold on. I don't think I could do an entire stream. Um, I don't think I could go that long, 25 minutes. Okay. All right. We'll, 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 for the sake of argument, we'll say half an hour. So in half an hour, I'm, 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 I can curse again. How about that? Does that, does that work out? What is it? 6.15? Okay, hold on. I could do this. I can do this. Isn't there supposed to be? No, there's not. Put on the cat ears. <gasps> hey, look, they actually turned on this time. Because I figured out how it works. I know what I was doing wrong before. There's no tutorial for what I'm doing because... Nobody does what I'm doing uh, with the 3D model and the years and the redeems and everything like that. So just because I can do it doesn't mean I knew how exactly to make it all work. And I figured out you got to have it on in one of the tracking programs and off in the other one in order for the redeem to work. Otherwise, if it, and if it's backwards... Which one matters? Because if it's backwards, then it works backwards. It's it's weird. I don't know. But I did it. BK! BK, how are you doing? Are you doing good? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. Uh, Where is my... Isn't there like a thing? Just like a thing, you know? Okay, six minutes. Six, no, six, 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 You're great. You started your new job today. <gasps> BK, I hope it went well. I hope everything went well. You know I wish only the best for you. Speaking of which, you're not going to get your, 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 your thing by Christmas. I'm late with it. And too many other things. that came up but you'll get it it'll happen rev rev i can't believe you've done this to me i don't know how do you make content without cursing how does that how do you do that um i need to go just watch a bunch of like TV land reruns from like the 50s. Some Leave It to Beaver and all that jazz, you know? And then learn how to. 
Because if it's old, hey, hey, that's a good question. That's a good question. When you when you say no cursing, according to what are all curses from all eras, um, you know, like off the table, or like can you use some curses from older time periods? You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Golly gee willikers. Exactly, Luna. Exactly. Oh, oh goodness. There's other words out there? I don't believe you. I, I've, I've not heard any. <laughs> mm, yes, unless they're silly, funny. Oh! Oh, God. Mm. Ah, I literally lack words when I can't curse. What am I supposed to <laughs> Rev's trying to clean me up. Oh. Goodness me. There seems to be bad men over here. <laughs> um. Hold on. Can I... Are they bad? Or are they my pe- No, they're bad. Move! Ow. That hurt. Curse words on screen. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Where are the curse words that are on the screen? They did? Well, I, I can't do anything about that. The, those naughty deve game developers with their profanity, you know, this is, this is, this is everything that's wrong with the world, isn't it? How do you, where's my silencer for this gun? Oh man. When I can't curse, I just get more sarcastic apparently. Oh wait, oh, oh no, my mouse is trying to click out. That would be very bad. Hold on, we have to do the thing. We have to do the thing like last time where I... Um... Where, what, where is it, where is it, full screen? It was, it was turning, it was turning off exclusive, I think. And, and and Rev, if you were trying to trick me into cursing, you failed. Mwahaha. I'm too smart for that. Is it performing better? I think it's actually performing better. Hmm. Uh. Well. I don't know. But what I do know is there's some bad boys up here and I presumably am gonna be able to get up there <laughs> no no that's perfectly okay Rev that's perfectly okay we don't need we don't need I know you don't lose competitions so I would never even dare challenge you to one I can honestly say I've never seen Rev lose a single competition. Get over here. Oh no. Well, that's not what you want. Did I get him? Oh, whoa. I think I did. Oh, goodness. The frame rate, though. The frame rate is in the toilet. Oh, what? because it's trying to run at 1440. That's why I needed exclusive. But then how do I do the thing with the thing without the thing? You know? Oh, uh, well. I never know which one I should do. Which oo uh, woo? Okay, can I... 
Okay, it doesn't mouse out now, so we're gonna do this because this performs infinitely better. Oh, I got a new bow. Oh, um, um, um. Uh, Oh, I have no exclamatory phrases that don't involve curse words. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Um. <laughs> uh, um. <clears throat> oh, golly. There we go. <clears throat> I'm not sure what happened there. I don't, I don't think this, I'm not sure. Was I supposed to do something in particular? Oh, I think it wanted me, oh, I see. <clears throat> it wanted me to handle my business like a professional. Which I am. F. It's okay. Okay, so you know what's not okay is those boys were over there. And they're, those were Matthias's boys. And. Oh, well, here's a cutscene. Laura! When we heard the explosion, we thought. Boo, no he was still on the ship. Seems anyone caught with you has a pretty low survival rate. Reyes! Better keep your distance, then. Let's just eat, okay? Those bastards went quiet, but it doesn't mean they're gonna stay that way. If I'm going to die in this place, I'm not gonna do it hungry. Fishies. Save a man's stomach, save his soul. Mm. Finally, a little positivity. Once Reyes finishes the boat, we'll be back to civilization in no time. And what a tale we'll have to tell. A tale? I hope I never hear Himiko's name again. We can take the boat out at high tide. No, we can't. Don't start that bullshit again, Lara. Lara isn't the only one who thinks we're trapped, Reyes. Matthias may be insane, but he was certain about it. I saw it in his eyes. He thinks resurrecting Himiko is the key to getting off this island. God, it sounds crazy. But this whole place is crazy. These storms aren't natural. We have to face that. She's right. When that storm hit the Endurance, I felt it. Something dark, something alive. This place is cursed. Where are you going? There are ruins beneath that old base in the cliffs. Something in there led them to believe they could control the storms. I've got to find out what they discovered. Once we're ready to leave, we're leaving. Whether you're back or not. I won't leave without you. Like I said, ah, uh, okay. Um, we now have new equipment we didn't have before. Which means I can now go. I don't remember exactly how much longer this game is, honestly. I feel like we're nearing the end. You know, like <clears throat> the story seems to be headed toward like an ending conclusion of some sort. Uh, but also I'm pretty sure that it, it said that it was like, only yeah we're like only 60 percent done <clears throat> um oh <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> nah, excuse me i don't know what happened with my throat um unless it's counting collectibles and all all progress some games count every piece of content towards the overall percentage and to 100% the game you would have to uh, complete every single thing 
all optional stuff, all collectibles. And this game may be one of those. I might finish it at like 80%. I think I, I, I think Assassin's Creed did that at least a couple of times. And I would like, you beat the main story at like 60 or 70%, but then the rest of the game, you know, is still. I think this is one of those games where it's like definitely I'm probably going to finish this before the 100% mark it just seems to make the most sense it's a big door Does this want to go? Maybe up here? Probably up there. You go ah uh, yeah. Up there for sure. Um Okay, so clearly this direction. Rah. No! No! Mm. Come on! No! Really? She reached! She reached! She did... She did a reach! A little reachy reach, you know? Um... Apparently... That was... I was almost right. I was almost right. Let's try that again, but this time with a little more feeling. You know? A little more, a little more ill. Uh, and then over here, and then the, I'm going to get up higher because I think I just wasn't over far enough. Uh, and then we have to immediately, even before we even see a prompt, press E. Because E-ing as soon as you can is, um the best way to ensure what is even up here is anything good up here there's a uh... this island is more than i could have hoped for oh wait in diary of course these islanders are absolutely insane those poor people from the endurance so so tragic but honestly it adds to the drama not only is this the mythical land of Yamatai, but the shipwrecks and the, the modern-day cultists. It warrants at least two documentaries, maybe even a series. Oh, Lord, this place is going to ignite the world's imagination, and, and I'm going to be right in the center of it all. Such a huge relief. All my chips were on this one number. I just need to be careful now. This situation could spin out of control on a dime. Once I have this Matthias fellow's ear, I, I can convince him that there's much to gain in cooperating. I mean, he can't honestly believe the things he preaches to these men, right? They're, they're just lost and confused. I'll help to bring them all back to civilization. The sponsors, oh, the sponsors are going to line up for this exclusive. The story is huge. Yep. Yeah, exactly, Luna. Yeah, no, Whitman is obsessed even to even at his own detriment and to the detriment of all around him uh with gaining fame and fortune very specifically fame and fortune he wants to be famous and rich um and uh yeah he just keeps messing some things up Uh, oh, oh, up here, up here, up here, up here. I was like, how do I progress from here? 
there's a whoop what was that oh I didn't even know that was there um surely unless I have to climb this first then jump yes okay okay we're doing it we're doing it it's it's getting done oh I maybe um hmm. that that was uh I didn't I didn't mean to do that that was uh that was all part of what what am I doing what's up here oh oh no so this is just absolute terrifying I hate this uh and whoa I almost uh almost went backwards a little bit so can I jump this can I make it I I ooh, <laughs> I literally clenched I hate this I hate everything about this I I don't do heights okay I just I don't do heights <laughs> Okay. All right, everything seems to be okay, so we just, we kind of, you know. Yes. Okay. We're just, we're following the path. The path will show us the way. I don't think I'm sneaking into the weather station. It's hard to tell what anything used to be, unless it was obviously military. Oh, oh yes, we want this. Ugh. What the hell are we doing here? It's fucking Odie, is that true? Calm down. We got orders from the man. No one goes in or out. They kill anything that sets foot in there. <laughs> you been listening to the OMS crew? Yeah, they said some guys went in there on a salvage job and never came out. They're fucking with you, brother. Those bozos like to make shit up. Don't believe any of it. <laughs> You know, I don't know what they're doing up here. Maybe they're just stalking us. Uh, but I was led up here. Blade, that was mean. What was mean? Where were you? What? Do you, what, what? What did I do? What? What happened? I just, I just shot those guys with fire. Is it? Is it the fire? Is the? Was the fire the problem? Was that too much? Was was setting them on fire, or or was it the part where I where I pickaxe that guy in the face? I don't know. Fire may have been a bit unnecessary. <laughs> Listen, <clears throat> uh, all things are necessary in the pursuit of art. <laughs> What if I lit you on fire? No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, I, it was it was strategic. It was uh, uh, tactically necessary, given the situation that I was in, uh, where they weren't on fire. You know. What is this? Nothing. Is it? Why are there candles? Why are there lit candles everywhere? What if I crushed you between two rocks? Is the situation called for it? Rev, no. 
Rev, no. Don't do it. Okay, okay. I promise I will murder them nicer next time. What am I supposed to do? I'm guessing I just fool. I mean, there was also the option to do that. So I, I, I want to know why. What? What is? Uh, why is this? Does this kill me? No. Huh. Okay. I don't trust this. One bit. Oh, but Rev. My shotgun. Oh no. I can't use my. My shotgun fires flaming ammunition. I guess I can't. I can't use the shotgun. I'm gonna. I'm gonna not be able to use my shotgun. Um. <clears throat> oh, oh wait, wait. What was that? There was a thing. I wanted the thing. Can I Can I get it? Can I get the thing? Is the thing There's a thing. I want that thing. I don't see how to get the thing. Okay. I think the thing is that we have to go this way. And maybe we loop back around. Maybe that's Maybe that's what it is. Also, what's my other gun? An AK? Okay. What are we considering excessive force? Is a grenade launcher excessive? The only are here. Yeah. Do you want him to find us? Just shut up. Keep your eyes open for the girl. I'm away to crush you with stuff. I I said I promised to kill them nicer. I we're just trying to set boundaries, you know? Or is it is 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 a grenade launcher too is that is that too much? Where are they? I can't do it because there's enemies nearby. Where? Soon after we discover the tomb, they came. The Oni. First, the lights went out. Then, then the screaming started. Was it us or them? That horrible sound. It still rings in my head. They wore the armor of my ancestors. They, they, they cut us down with ancient blaze. Gunfire, shouting, blood. We couldn't stop them. Everything turned to chaos. And then, silence. They were gone. Why did they leave? Why didn't they kill us all? Captain Osaka is in command now. We... We are leaving the base. But not the island. We are heading inland. To the monastery. There is no other way. We must follow the Oni. All of us. If we can't control the star, we must destroy it. But I know. We... We're all going to die. Oh, wow. So if you guys don't remember, the Axis powers came here during World War II to study the storms and see if they could harness the power for war. And uh, the island did not like that. And none of them left alive. And we found mountains of their bodies back at the uh, at the monastery, where where he said they were going, because apparently if they couldn't control this thing they called the star, then they had to destroy it. Which means this star must be the key to controlling the weather. But what's funny is I don't remember what it is. Luna, you're way too creative with that. You know what I mean? Like, what is? 
I just kind of, you know. What the hell? See? No excessive force. See? Two clean kills. Silent, even. See, here's some of the bodies of the soldiers. They had thousands of, of, of men on this island. This one time in band camp. What a hey, what's happening, Woods? What's going on? If I'm going to get to the ritual tree in that monastery, we need to fix that boat. I don't know how I'm going to convince the others to take it inland rather than off this island, but I have to find a way. Reyes won't be easy. She wants to get back to her daughter, and she's in pain over Roth. We all are. I still don't know exactly why Matthias wanted Sam in the first place, but it doesn't matter. She's back with us now. Here we go. Ooh, we can open this. I do remember Woods. Do you remember? The 5th of November. Oh. Oh, I have to go. Oh. Ugh. 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 I don't want to go this way. That's gross. Really? You made me walk through that? Seriously? That's nasty. Yeah. That was suspiciously easy. The two must be in the lower levels. Um, that's probably gonna break as soon as I press that button. That's where I need to go. You have the cheese touch now. What? <laughs> what? What? Oh, the elevator is jammed. The cheese to Whoa. Okay, I see. I see. I'm on the right track. Just we need to figure out a way to drop the We are place. on the right track. Whoa. What was that? been playing a lot of the Ghostbusters game. All right. Are you winning? Are you you getting them? You get you busting all those ghosts? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Riley. Auto part. Here we go. Boom. Almost 60 now and unlocked Slimer. I don't know what that means, but it sounds awesome, Woods. So I take it the game is dope. That's what I'm learning. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So the way this works is it's kind of like a puzzle. You have to... Wow, that's, uh, springy. You have to, um, you have to basically not do what I did. And you have to go this way. So there's... Just need to loosen three more and that elevator will fall. Yeah, I know, Laura. I'm trying to remember exactly what it is I have to do. You have to, like, oh this. I don't know how I'm, I missed that multiple times because I didn't look up. And, ooh, we got more shotgun parts. So there's that one. So now we have to raise it again. I remember this puzzle because it's awful. 
Uh, and so it was very memorable because I hated it. And what I want, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Oh, 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 right. No, I didn't do it right. I, we have to, there's a trick to this. There's a trick, and let me show you this trick. This trick is really interesting. You have to come over here and you have to press this button, right? And then you gotta come over here and you gotta run all the way back up. Whoop. And be a professional ninja. Got to pry those other parts loose. Yep, yep, I understand, Laura. Don't you worry, baby. And then you hit this. Right? And then as it's coming back up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna jump down here like this, and then you're gonna oh oh I missed my I somehow I missed my opportunity. Basically like that. You wanna you wanna whoa. But I think I think that is is actually my my way over there. So and I'm I'm on the right track. I just have the wrong spot. Come over here, and then you go boom. And then basically you go do the same thing, except this time you don't mess it up. That's the difference. Come on, come on. And, and like that, you see? All professional like. And then, look at that. It's beautiful. It's it's a thing of beauty. How smooth. Perfect. First try. Um, okay, seriously, how is one holding it up? I, I do actually want to know how one of them is holding it up. Um... I cannot remember where you go for the final one. Okay, so you go there, which is directly under, directly under here, which means there has to be a way to get in there. So if I come down here and I look, can I, how do I get in that little caged off area? There's a way. There's some. Oh, there's a ladder down there. There's a. There's a ladder down there. Let me see. Let me see this ladder. The ladder. Can I reach it? I can. Oh look, look. Oop. Perfect. Successfully broken elevator. I think that did the trick. What did that do exactly? Not entirely sure what that did, but I definitely successfully did it. I successfully broke the elevator. Oh, it was to get down here. It was nothing. Oh no. Bro gamer strat? Exactly. I'm so glad you understand, Rev. I'm gonna get these guys perfectly and cleanly. They're like not even gonna know that anyone was here. Clean. Look at that. She even went out of combat stance, which means there's no enemies around. B. Clean. Professionalism at its finest. What is? Were these gifts for the ancient rulers of Yamatai, or was there some kind of battle here? Uh, well, there was some kind of battle here, because. In some of the old notes from back in the time of Yamatai, that Imperial 
an ambassador wrote um, about it. Some of the notes mentioned that there was an invasion. In fact, the Storm Guard battle speech we read was about they were being invaded by a large force, and it was probably the um, the Chinese, given all the other notes we found. Um, they just have like random people everywhere like two guys there's just two do they have like two people spread all over the island let's talk about spreading your forces thin that's not effective that's how they all get picked off and killed but far be it to me for me to expect grand strategy from a cult leader. What is this? <gasps> All right. This is it. This is it. Look at all these grand statues. <clears throat> they were they were building the statues. They hadn't even really finished. They were in the process of or no. No, the cult somebody built on top. But there's still, there is ancient construction equipment here. I don't know. Let's see. Look at all, it's so cool. All right, we're gonna come up here. That's a corpse. And a mural. Sepuku. These figures, warriors, they're in Himiko's tomb. They protected her. No. And is this you? Were you some kind of general? Mm hmm. You committed Sepuku. Yep. Why? He failed her. And very Such broken. Oh, God. Please don't cut yourself on a disease-ridden sword, please. I have failed, my queen. The ritual was corrupted. Mm. The priestess knew only death could save her and took her own life. Now the first and last queen lives a half-life. A soul in a decaying body. Her rage became the storms and would not stop while her soul is tied to this earth. Mm. My storm guard are sworn to protect her. They must continue, but I cannot. The soul is trapped in a decaying body. Mm. That's what's causing the storms. That's it. We need to destroy the body in the ritual chamber. How the hell am I going to convince the others? The priestess. So, if you remember some of the notes we found, a couple were from this priestess who talked about how she didn't want to go through with it, even though she'd been chosen. And the general just said she took her own life during the ritual, thereby trapping uh, the queen in, in a body like half alive, half dead. And her anger and her power, supernatural power, because she apparently does have supernatural power, is what's causing the storms. And everything that's going on, and and presumably also what led to the fall of Yamatai. Yamatai was fantastic and great, 
They never lost a battle. Except apparently during her ascension ceremony. There's a little loophole where if you kill yourself during the ritual, you avoid getting taken over and your queen avoids being able to be transferred, I guess. And so now she's trapped in a decaying body. Oh, uh, oof. She's in the old oh, no. Shit. I've got to get out of here. Hmm. Are they, do you think they're, oh, we're going loud, aren't we? No. Yep, we're going loud. Okay. Um, where's the others? Come on, come on. Come on. Peek. How? Oh, 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 oh. Hi. Well, those guys were armored. Oh, no. Uh... They keep dropping down on top of me. How many people are you going to send? I'm running out of bullets. Okay, okay, one more. I think. Is that everybody? Okay. There we go. And damage done. It felt like way more than this were um was attacking me. What happened to half the corpses? I really wish they would stop setting fire to all this ancient stuff. Cuz after everything's all said and done, it's going to be a historical site. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Oop. Eat. Yes. Jump. E. Perfect. Got to master the jump. I can't do that now. You can't do that now? Why not? Oh, I can't do anything right. Now. I can't change any of my weapons or anything. I can aim though. <laughs> Why am I locked? Why can I? Did you get your saves back? Hi, Robin. Where the hell are you? Oh no, what's happening? We're up there attack. We need help. Oh. Damn it. No. I've got to get back there. Um, basically, Robin, I, I ended up having to, I installed a different version of the game and moved my saves over. Because technically I had them, but the other game wasn't seeing them. So I just moved them over to an, a different version of the game. A non-epic version, because the epic version is apparently the broken one. Um, and uh, it's been way better. Um, what? Perfect. Okay. Ads. Okay, I'm back. Oh no, Robin, did you miss my entire explanation? Watch out on the pier. Fire. Fire. Yes. Oh, okay. 
I installed a different version of the game and moved my saves over to it. And that's how we're 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 doing this. Can't I use my Yes. I can use the auto ascender. Okay. Alright, let's go. Why are they retreating? That's very suspicious. I got back in record time. Here. Thanks. Thanks. Seriously, I thought that was it for me. There's no sign of him. What happened? During the attack, Whitman took Sam and they disappeared. He's taken her back to Matthias. Whitman. You should have listened. Fuck. I should have listened. So what's her next move? The boat's fixed now. We should get help. I bet they thought that too. Look, you were right about Whitman, You've but... You've seen the storms. They target any craft that comes near. There were scientists here during World War II, and they believed the storms were controlled by something in a ritual chamber near the monastery. Look, I don't have all the answers, but sand being taken, I know it's linked. And if we try to leave here without understanding why, then we'll all die. Just like the pilots. Just like Roth. Look. Whatever's happening here, Lara deserves a shot. We can't go back to their stronghold. It'd be suicide. They won't take her there. They'll take her to the ritual chamber. We can use this inlet to get closer. Look, I know you want to get home to your daughter. Believe me, I do. But the fight's not over yet. I'm not asking you to believe, Reyes. I'm asking you to trust. Okay. Let's get this thing in the water. <laughs> okay. Whenever you're ready to go, come aboard. Oh, I think this is one of those moments where, you know how every, op every open world RPG has a moment usually where they're like, okay, this is the last mission. Be sure you finish everything up because this is, you know, once you, once you get on this boat, you're not coming back. The game ends, you know? I think that's where we are here. I think this is a point of no return. I have a ton of equipment, really. I need to find a campfire. I'm a potato. <clears throat> Thank you, Robin. Ooh. What did I get? Combat shot that. Hold on, hold on. Old show. Exactly. Ooh. I bought a silencer for my pistola. Thank you, Robin. Hydrate. I actually have to go get some. In fact, I was going to go do that. Um, give me one second. I'll be right back.
Okay. <clears throat> okay, and I'm back. All right. Now. Uh oh. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. I think this is a point of no return. So let me just check the old ye old map here. Didn't I already do this tomb? Didn't I do this tomb? Hold on. We're gonna We're gonna we're gonna go look, because I I recall wanting to do the tomb. But I don't know if I did it. Hmm. Where's the map? Okay, so it's like down here. Oh. I didn't have the ascender at the time. Pistol has a silencer again. That's because last time I was at a campfire, I bought it. But I swear I had it. I swear I had it before. But then when I was at the campfire last, I saw it there. And it wasn't unlocked. And I was like, what? And so I bought it. So now I have it, but I swear I had it before. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. But good thing we do, because the silencer is really useful. What is this? Hmm. Okay. I want. I want to use my gun. Thank you. Oh, dude, her pulling that torch out scared me. I don't trust. I don't trust. I don't trust anything about this. This is way too sus. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Hold on. Get back up. Laura, no. Laura. Okay, how do I get back up? Oh. Perfect. Man, I'm so glad that they had a spot for me to get back up. There we go. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. First try. Hmm. Silenced pistol. There's a, uh, what? Oh wow. Okay. Oh, I see that. Temple of the Handmaidens. Oh wow. Basically, Himiko was a goddess queen, kind of like the emperor of mankind is a is a god emperor. She's the female version of that. There. To be fair, she apparently had supernatural powers to back it up. I don't think that ever gets explained. I don't think they ever explain how that's a thing. Um. Okay, Robin, you do whatever it is you need to do. I'm just glad to see you. Am I supposed to do this in a what are particular they doing here? way? Some kind of fishery. I'm assuming I have to do everything in, in some kind of an order. Oh, oh no. Um. Hmm. I don't think that's what I wanted. No, I gotta be honest. Okay. It clearly, it, I am on the right track. Clearly, we just, until it goes over, and then we come over here, and we... We have to, we have to pull this, right? It has, it just has to get pulled. But then, 
But then, how do I... I do. I do. I have to take the high road. There's no way for me to do it from down here. That's the part. That's the part that I... Okay. Okay. I see. I, 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 I see what I have to do. I see what I have to do. That, right? And so you, you, you run up here. You go... And then you... Uh, right? And you... Whoops. You, you just kind of... Pull it, right? And then, and then it's gonna get pushed, right? And you're gonna take that opportunity to jump, E, up, boom. Ha. They must use this place to store food. They? Who's they? Ugh. It's an old tomb is what it is. Did we do it? What do we get? Oh, handgun parts. I wonder what the I wonder what the final one gives you. All right. We, we did the tomb. And I got a skill point. I'm not sure why you would store food with dead bodies. That, yeah. I'm honestly a little confused on that myself. Uh, it, 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 uh, not the most sanitary thing in the world. You know what I mean? Increase your client with more speed and resist falling. That was a thing I never bought? Oh my, wow. I could have been better at climbing this whole time. There's a mas there's a climbing mastery. Who to thunk? Increased damage. Give me all them damages. I want so many damages that I don't even know what my bow does. Jax! What's going on, Jax? What's happening? How are you? Please don't crash, game. Yay, out of memory error, right on track. So, the good news is the game is working. The bad news is about once an hour, apparently, it still has the memory issue. So that's fun. We're just we're just going to muscle through this series with it crashing every time it runs out of or thinks it runs out of memory because it's not running out of memory. I know that for a fact. Every time it thinks it's running out of memory, for whatever reason that is. This is the Steam version, too. This is supposed to be the best PC version that there is. But If you load the last camp save, your progress in save slot 5 will be over. What's in save slot 5? I don't see anything in save slot 5. Okay, are we leaving? Okay, we're leaving. Okay, good. Okay. Just that tomb added... Oh, no. Just that tomb added about... Um... 3% to the overall completion. So it does count optional content. So we'll probably be done... This stream. Um... 
How much longer, I'm not sure. There we go. Yeah, Jax, earlier I was talking about how some games do that. Like, I think Assassin's Creed does that too. Um, and how it said we were only 60% done, but it seems like we're nearing the end of the game. So we will be done. Um, that was self-defense, by the way. Um... I've done pretty much everything I want to do, I think. There's a billion tombs, but I'm not going for 100% on this game. We've got other games to get to. Not the least of which are the other ones of this series. Because we still got to do Rise of the Tomb Raider and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Which is especially exciting given that, I don't know if you're all aware... Jexy mentioned this before, and I saw an announcement the other day that they're uh, making another one. So, and it's going to be on Unreal Engine 5, which means it should be amazing. Made by the same people. Crystal Dynamics. Lara, what do you expect to find in there? Do you really want to know? No, but you should tell me anyway. There's the soul of an ancient Sun Queen trapped in a dead body. Her rage is what's causing these storms. If we destroy the body, the storms will stop. Right. And why does Matthias want Sam? I don't know. And that's what's scaring me the most. Look, I know this is a crazy plan. Yeah, it is. But right now, crazy is all we got. So let's do this. Exactly. Well, clearly, Matthias want, we one of his notes mentioned he wanted to pr complete the ritual and resurrect the queen. He believes he'll be rewarded for that. Like all cult leaders, really. Let's go. No. I'll need you and Reyes to guard the main entrance while I go in after Sam. You're going in there alone? More people means more danger of being spotted. That's I true. I need you here taking out as many of those bastards as you can. It won't just be the Solari either. There'll be others. Samurai, the Queen's Storm Guard. Look, anything that's not me or Sam, shoot it. My little bird. This isn't goodbye. I'm not going to say goodbye. We got your back, Laura. Hmm. <laughs> Exactly, Jackson. That's why they're consistently good. Here we go. Uh, oh, right. I'm climbing. I forgot about... Yeah, she's... Yeah, the storms. So... Oh, no. I get to do a whole bunch of fanciful climbing in, in, in hurricane force winds. This is going to be great. James Whitman. Just criminal. I come to you in peace. Useless. I bring He's you. He's so dead. Your yeah. Your queen. Oh no. Your queen. What is it in Japanese? Yeah, your 
Right, Jax? Yeah, like Matthias was so obviously using him. So the Storm Guard can be killed. <clears throat> They're not invincible. They're just tough. But two arrows to the back seem to take out one of the light ones. Now that's not a heavy one. It's just one of the light ones, like an archer. The heavy bowies are gonna be a bit more of a problem. Stone guard can be killed, Oni cannot. Yeah, right, right. Exactly. Who? What's interesting to me is that the Storm Guard themselves are killable, but they have been effectively immortal this whole time. Immortal, not unkillable, which are two different things in sci-fi. to do oh oh what's this oh I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of do a little sneaky sneak you know how it is right yeah see Oh, but I have to light that to move forward. Um, are they going to hear this? I don't know, but to move forward, I have to set fire to this. Let's go. Jax, you're a genius. You should cut we should we should get old spice on the phone. Get something uh get something going, you know. They're in for memes. Oh. Oh. Don't make this out, Laura. Are they Paul? Oh. So, you know, what's interesting about all this is that basically these are original people from Yamatai. Every one of these people is an original resident of Yamatai. And what's even more interesting is the fact that they're immortal and have all this time on their hands and yet they've not fixed anything everything's broken they just let it all fall into disrepair oh that's a big boy that's a, what is was that a lenny hold on the raider rises what is happening len dog how are you doing? I hope you're doing good. The raider does rise, actually. Actually, uh, that's the next game. This game is just Tomb Raider. The next game is um, Rise of the Tomb Raider. And we'll be doing that one. They didn't see anything, right? What is happening over there? 
There's a big boy getting outfitted with his armor. Okay. Um, what am I supposed to do? Are you serious with me right now? Oh, oh, oh. They don't see me, right? Never the end. Do they? They don't see me, right? Just jump down there. You can take them. Absolutely not, Jax. <laughs> Oh no, they saw me! They saw me! Oh no, oh no, not good, not good, not good. Go, Laura, go! Go, Laura, go! Quickly! Go, Laura! Ah! And... <sighs> not decrepit or anything they look like like they probably did back in the day they got like non they got regular faces they're not shriveled or messed up or you know anything they're just they were just functionally immortal I think you get something for the rats. <clears throat> the prayer I found on that general talked about a soul in a decaying mm. body being the cause of the storms. I know he must be talking about the last Sun Queen, but I don't understand what Himiko has to do with this. She was the first queen. Somehow Matthias thinks Sam's connected, and that can't be good. Damn you, Whitman, you'll do anything for a story. <clears throat> I know the answer is inside that ritual chamber, but getting to it won't be easy. We already the know. are devoted to guarding it. I know I have to do this, but I'm so scared of what I'm going to find in there. He talks about how Himiko, it can't, Himiko shouldn't have anything to do with this because she was the first queen. We already know. We found stuff that told us that... She performs an ascension ritual where she basically, in essence, takes over a body of one of her priestesses who's chosen, and then she continues on in that body. And then she just periodically does that. What's really, really interesting is not the fact that she was doing that to be immortal, but the fact that if that's what she has to do to be immortal, then how are the Storm Guard immortal? She has to do this crazy body ascension ritual and steal another body because they age. But her storm guard don't. Or just weird. Whoa. Oh no. Yelling is not going to help. Oh, oh, things are happening. Things are happening. This isn't good. My friends are under attack. There's a mountain of bodies from World War II. I imagine the storm guard are cursed or something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. I'm thinking she's not the one that made them immortal. Something else did. Like you said, probably cursed or something.
Okay, so we need to go this away. Oh no. Ow. Oh no. A city full of storm guard. Oh, that's uh, pardon me while I take on an army of ancient immortal warriors and an Oni. Um, yeah. Are you serious, Laura? He's like, let's see what you've got. Let me just single-handedly take on an army of ancient immortal warriors. You know. The easy stuff. Oh. Oh, hi. Ugh. I gotta stay on the move. I forgot. Oh, I gotta stay on the move with this part. Oh, hi. How are you? you just gotta be... You gotta conserve ammo here. That didn't instant kill? It doesn't. Okay. Okay. Are there more? They're probably not gonna have bullets on them. Oh. Oh no. Oh, what is this? Oh no. Why? Why are you guys like this? Listen, calm down. You, it's fine. another one. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And this shotgun is really not good against these guys, is it? I might have to switch. Ow, that hurt a lot. Exactly, Jax, yeah. These shields, you know, made with primitive steel, designed to deflect sword blows, are totally, totally going to hold up against a modern shotgun that can put a hole through a car. guys <clears throat> the logic of video games well yes of course obviously if it's a shield enemy <clears throat> it's usually its shield is impervious to the player <clears throat> oh, excuse me god hold on Okay, there we go. Um, what do we got? Hydrate, thank you, Luna. Hmm, that's not good. I think that'll get him. You know, that grenade launcher is not nearly uh, as effective as I feel like it should be. Boom. Um.
Mm, yeah, we're not going to question why there's a crate full of grenades up here. Uh, I'm thinking we go back to the assault rifle. It's been pretty good against these guys. Whoa! To be fair, that was their fault. They tried to ambush me. Oh, I, I, I feel the ambush about to happen here. Yep, here it is. Oh, ow, 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 what? Woo. that work yeah no feet for you uh oh oh what's happening oh the wind got really strong you know the worst part about this is people like Matthias want to complete the ritual right and the storm guard are guarding her against anyone and everyone and kill anyone who come near meaning she will stay in this in this um just this half state of being alive until someone can kill their way through her storm guard and complete the ritual or destroy the body Actually, no, I don't think you can complete the ritual at this point because they messed up the ritual. I don't know what happens because I don't know the... I don't know the details behind how the ritual works. But it's just funny to me because they're all stop... They're, they're all trying to stop me when it's literally her only release. She will stay like this forever unless somebody does something. Ooh. That's not good. That's not what you want. Ooh. Nice. He sneezed. Exactly, Jack. You're so right. Er, open says me. Just the piles. The mountains of bodies. Of all the people who've ever come here over the years. It's a lot. Okay, so I need to lift that, but that is stopping it, which means we need to find the solution. We need that to open, which I'm guessing is this one. Right? Oh, that's spikes. Okay. Mm. I don't know if I'm timed. I feel like I'm probably timed. Come on. Up, up, up. Mm. Oh, no. I'll be timed after this because I have to raise it. Then I have to go close the thing. Um. Or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I feel like I have to close it. I feel like that's that's part of this. 
Okay. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Just what we want. Just what we want. Ooh. This Chinese earthenware is thousands of years old. Could they have visited this island before the rise hmm. of Yamatai? Hmm. Uh, all right, so if I know anything about this game, whoops, that's a grenade launcher. That's not what I wanted. I know I need to do this. And boom. Yeah, perfect. Need to get up there somehow. Oh, don't worry. It's this way. I'm a professional adventurer. I know exactly where I'm going. Nobody needs to tell me anything. Oh. Heck yeah. Exactly, Rev. Heck yeah. Um, I'm going to pull it over here and then jump on it. Like an actual professional. Oh, oh, I didn't do it right. I broke my ankles. Ow. That's... <laughs> Professionals, you know, sometimes they miss. It happens. People fall in the Olympics, you know. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, there's, there's another way. And it's professional, you say. Listen, listen. People fall in the Olympics. It happens. Why can I not... Why can I not get on it? Too high. It's too high? Oh, it's too high. <clears throat> okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, I was just testing you guys. I knew what I needed to do this whole time. <clears throat> I just wanted to see if you guys knew. I think... Actually, I don't think I need to... No, I do. I do need to. Laura, 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 please. Laura. There we go. There we go. And. And then now you jump on it. I can make this jump. And then you. Ah, one shot, one opportunity. To seize everything you ever wanted. The Sun Queens. <clears throat> the fire ritual where the queen chooses her successor. A chosen priestess enters the monastery. And she's given your power and becomes the new queen. No, he's not given your power. <gasps> Wait a minute. Many have given up their souls willingly for this gift. Now the first and last queen lives a half-life. A soul in a decaying body. Yeah, it's not the power. Vessels. He's not transferring the it's power. It's not transferring power. It's transferring a soul. Mm -hmm. All these queens, they're all you. Himiko. They're all Himiko. Yep. First and last. Oh, God. And now you want Sam. Yep. <clears throat> well, you're not getting her. Big Zelda. A vessel for the Queen's soul. I've got to stop this madness. I love the story of of this of this game. The Yamatai is I can't decide if Yamatai is my favorite one, but it's up there. <clears throat> I love this storyline. It's so good. Um What's going on, Zelda? How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Girl boss? Exactly. We are 100% girl bossing it up in here. Uh, we were doing a lot of girl bossing earlier, but right now we're doing more discovery. That's where I came from. I don't think I need anything over there. But maybe I need something from over here. Aha. Uh -huh. I have no choice now but to meet my fate. Tonight, I climb the stairs to the chamber of the sun, but I will never submit to the ritual. I will not emerge queen. None will ever believe what I now know to be the truth. 
A twisted evil beyond imagining lives within the Sun Queen. An evil that hungers for more than just the land and seas of Yamatai. This madness cannot continue. So I go to the chamber, armed with the stolen dagger of her Storm Guard General. Ah. By the time he realizes what I have done, it will be too late. For the sake of Yamatai and all the priestesses that would follow me, I must die. Damn, so that's particularly why the general committed seppuku because he the ritual was ruined with his personal dagger that he lost to her. He allowed her to steal it and thus brought great shame upon himself because then it trapped his beloved queen in the decaying body for all eternity. <clears throat> Dang. Okay, what else do we got here? Ooh. We gotta be we gotta be all silent about this. We gotta be sneaky sneaky, you know? We gotta come in here and we gotta be like I love Hmm. I really expected something to be over here. Sneaky snake? Exactly. You have to be sneaky like a snake. Why are there just... statues in here? Wow, ah, here we go. Laura is unable to fast travel after this point. Point of no return. So this is officially the point of no return. We're almost done with this game. We finally got the point of no return marker that I was talking about earlier. About how games do that. So we're getting fairly close to the end here. Blast enemies to stop them in their tracks and earn extra rewards. I do like that. I don't wanna. Hmm. do with this last skill point I guess may as well bow master it up you know yeah that's what I'm gonna do and then I got 500 points for this which means I should be if anything else is upgradable There are still two more. There are still two more games after this. Yes. I've seen similar artifacts on the Ban Giant site in Thailand. How did this get all the way to Yamatai? Well, Yamatai was truly a mysteriously powerful nation. Maybe they traded. Okay, point of no return. Are we ready? I don't know. I don't know if we're ready. Are you guys ready? Hmm. Did I do everything I need to do? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Wow. He's a bit angry. You know, having her ritual ruined and her soul trapped for eternity, you know? Kinda. You would think, you know, that at some point, somebody might have saw that coming. Oh.
Exactly, Zelda. <laughs> Oh no, they got away. Exactly. He do be a heckin' culty boy. I think. I think the problem with Matthias is that he drank his own Kool-Aid. Never drink your own Kool-Aid. You know, rule number one. Never, as a cult leader, never drink your own Kool-Aid. That, it never ends well for you. There we go. That door looks breakable. Do be, oh, oh, I know, I know. No, 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 what are you doing? No, 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 we gotta, we gotta pull it like over here into the wind. We gotta pull it into the wind and then the wind will send it through the gate. There we go. This place, uh, me, seen better days. I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't look like the cleaning staff has been through recently. I'm gonna have to give this uh, two and a half stars. Um, I'm giving it two, two and a half stars simply because of location. Oh, and no, that's not it. Oh. My brain's like Kool-Aid. <laughs> Tastes pretty good. I don't think we're saying it. We're, you, no. We are not talking about the same Kool-Aid. Oop. And... Hmm. Where's... Where do I go? That way? I'm thinking that way. No. Lara, watch out. Those bastards are heading your way. Oh, there's a lot we could of them. them down. Thanks, Reyes. Get to the boat. There you is a lot back. of them. We're not leaving without you. We'll be waiting. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay, it's just cat. Cat doing cat things? Whoa! Oh. Now I know you I know you guys are making jokes about the Kool-Aid, but do you actually not know what I'm talking about? Or do you know you're just making jokes? Because it is... The Kool-Aid drinking thing's a common cult reference that I've never... That usually people just understand, so I... I can explain it if need be. Ooh. Oh. Okay, okay. I never know, you know? Because I can explain it if you think I'm talking about actual Kool-Aid. Oh! I never know what people do and do not know. But I talk as if everyone knows everything I do, and that's not always the case. Oh! Another campsite! Heck yeah! What is going on? What's happening? Lurk? You blame Blade's awesomeness for the final... Oh, it's down for maintenance. Oh, no. Hydrate? Okay. All right. You guys are suddenly spamming many things. 
Hold on. Let me let me go. Let me get some more hydration. Apparently I, I finished that. Okay, and we're back. All right, load up on ammo. Here we go. We probably... We probably don't have to worry about being sneaky. Because it's very, very loud out here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, wow. Are you actually kidding me right now? Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be the worst climb of all time. It's gonna be the worst climb ever. <clears throat> Hurry. Ugh. Ooh. Go go go. Oh, I hate this. I hate it. At least it's fairly clear about where it wants me to go. Ads are done. Welcome back, Jax. Things are happening. Nature is trying to kill me. not good we have to kill the body oh no there's too much wind we have to destroy the body we have to somehow destroy the body how do we do that um why am i moving so incredibly slowly oh 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 you you would you would you just would you guys are a-holes! Stop protecting the ritual! Stop doing it! Don't protect the ritual! It's not worth it! Okay, so I- oh! Okay, it's really strong. It's really strong. What do I do? Oh no. Um. Oh. Okay. Well, their shields didn't help them. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, he got, he got big dead. I kind of think this gun is terrible. I'm not going to lie. slowly you move very very slowly in the wind but that's what it is oh oh no okay so
Come on, how did you recover? Okay. <laughs> it's like, I don't have time to mess with you. I got things. Oh no, the guardians are here. I, I, <laughs> Laura, I think he's beyond um, convincing at this point. Okay, well, everyone died except me. Perfect. Uh, oh. Up. Oh. Yes. Okay, I don't know why she's always extremely slow right there. Okay, they're fighting the Guardians, which is good. Big boy climb back up. He's a little angry. He also doesn't care about your guns. Oh, oh, wonderful, wonderful. Exactly what I wanted. What am I supposed to do exactly? It's an Oni. Um, oh, shoot him in the back. Okay. All right. Gotcha. All right, go. Ooh. I've played Elden Ring. Let's do this. I'm in the top percent of all Elden Ring streamers on Twitch. Top eight percent. Look at that. I think I got him. Did I get him? Where's my gun? Hmm, there's more of them. That's not what you want. Okay, so we're gonna need. He's not dead yet. He's getting close though. I'm I'm literally I'm just gonna use the pistol at this point. Oh hey. I don't like that. He's mad, he's mad, he's mad. Yes, yes. Oh, 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 I missed it. I missed it. Never mind. There we go. All right, do it again. This time, don't mess it up. Oh, mash it. Mash it. Kill him. Myrtleize him. There we go. Woo. Dang. He was an angry one. Okay, we gotta we gotta go help. Yeah. No. No, you can't be serious. I had a gun and everything. No, it doesn't. Screw you, Matthias. E. Mash it. Mash it. Go, girl. Yeah, grab the gun. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him. Shoot him again. You have two guns now like the original Tomb Raider. Do it. Yes.
that was totally why at the end of the game they threw a dual gun thing in there as a nod to the original Tomb Raider. Burning Torch ought to do it. That's it. He's no longer bound Sam. here. Oh, Sam. Thank God. Oh. Laura. What's happening? I'm here. You're safe now. It's okay. It's okay. You saved me. I knew you would. I made you a promise. Let's get you home. Look at that, Where's storms Laura? are gone. She's got Sam. <laughs> she did it. She did do it. We only just lost almost everybody. I think she's going to be okay. What happened up there? It's over. We can go now. All right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> exactly, Luna. Yeah. I've been so blind, so naive. For years, I resented my father, doubted him like the rest. But he was right about so much. I just wish I could tell him that now. There are so many mysteries that I once dismissed as mere stories, but the line between our myths and truth is fragile and blurry. I need to find answers. I must understand. Boom. Precursor to the entire series. Dragon Triangle, south of Japan. Day unknown. Glitched out birds. Need anything? Mm. Don't really know what happened to you on that island. Judging from those wounds and that look in your eyes on the other side, I don't want to know. Anyway, we'll be home soon. <laughs> what? One wound? We have so many wounds right now. I'm not going home. Boom. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed playing Tomb Raider. We worked our hardest to bring you the best game we could possibly make. Crystal Dynamics Core Team. I love that game. I, I still get goosebumps when I finish it. I love I love that game. It it's so good. It's so well made. I like it a lot and I love the story of Yama Time a lot as well. I like a lot of I like the later games as well, and in some ways I like them more, but in terms of the story, I think Yamatai may be my favorite. I just love the story and how and how they how everything unfolded. 
it's just such an interesting and compelling story. All the places they go are awesome. But I always go back to remembering Yamatai when I think about the Tomb Raider reboot series. Oh, hey, it's got skippable credits. Well, well, well. Congratulations, you've completed the main story with an overall completion of 71%. We did it, guys. We saved the day. We put Queen Himiko to rest. We stopped the storms. We destroyed the cult. We made uh, the island safe again. I'm assuming that the storm guard and the Oni, now that she's dead, are probably also going to stop. Um, I'm assuming that that the storm guard were maybe cursed somehow, and that their curse was related to the queen. And so, with her passing, maybe the cursed is lifted and they can all die now. And the Oni, I'm assuming, is a similar thing where, like, they're somehow bound to her, and now that she's gone, they will all disappear, and hopefully that island uh, will be just perfectly safe now. Um, Well, that was cool. We finished that faster than I thought we would. So... What are we at? We're at about two and a half hours. We got to do something else. But first, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to leak and try and figure out what we're doing next. I'll be right back.
<clears throat> okay, and I'm back. Okay, um, we have a couple of options on what we're going to do. We can hydrate. Perfect. Thank you, Luna. We're, we're definitely going to continue the Tomb Raider series, but we're not going to do it today. Um, we're going to play something else to finish off the day today, and then we'll start the next Tomb Raider game on Wednesday. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you, BK. I hope you're still doing good. Um, what is this? <gasps> what is this? Hold on. Hold on. I'm reading. What is this? Hmm. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? <clears throat> A new map, new weapons, new refinement. Oh. So. You know how, you know how Dark Tide is awesome? Well, it's an evolving title and they just keep adding more and more content, which is super cool. I love that. Um, and they just added more today. I wonder how it would handle... I wonder how it would handle. Now we'll have to do that another time because I have to get an overlay thing ready. So there's another game I want to stream at least a little bit of at some point, <clears throat> but it requires an overlay to hide the map because otherwise stream snipers can ruin the game. Uh, I don't have that set up yet, so... So League, I could play League. <clears throat> I don't mind playing League. In fact, do I have it updated? Hold on. I'm checking. That's the only game I know that has a map overlay. No, I'm talking about the game called Hell Let Loose. It's a World War II shooter, but it's like the most realistic one I've ever seen. And most people agree. Like the most realistic one of all time. It can get insane. Um, hmm. I love when they do things with League, like disable the chroma on a character. Like, what did you do? What did you guys do? You don't have to play it? Yeah, I'm probably... I'm gonna play it on, on stream at some point. But it currently has an update, and I don't want to do that right now. So, I do want to play League, though, on stream. I don't know. Have I? I've done it, right? Haven't I done it? Does anybody here remember if I've played League on stream? Because I don't remember. I know I've always meant to. I don't remember if I've actually done it. Maybe once. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right about that. Okay. Uh, well, we finished Laura Croft. Um, 
Morphe. Okay. All right. We're going to, I'm sure it comes as no surprise to anyone who's a regular to my stream that we're going to finish off the evening with a, just a couple of rounds of Dark Tide. Um, because I can't play enough of this game, as evidenced by the four maxed out characters that you will see here in a moment. <clears throat> I'm really excited for um, Space Marine 2 also. I'm really excited for that. That's going to be good, I think. Hello, is it working? And then, like I said, and then next time, we will start uh, the rise of the Tomb Raider. So if you guys want more Tomb Raider content, tune in next time. I love the way that Jonah and, and Laura's relationship develops. Or at least you get to see more of their best friendship in the um in the later games the the as much as i love the original uh reboot game it doesn't really showcase laura and jonah's friendship like at all he's just also another passenger who happens to be friends with laura but then so was everyone else, you know? So it's like... In the later games, you get to see a lot more of it. He becomes more of a centerpiece. And I like that because I like him and I like his character. I'm very excited. <clears throat> Is it? It's processing inquisitorial clearance. If there's one thing the Imperium of Man has, it's a hell of a lot of bureaucracy. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Don't mind the four level 30 characters we're not going to talk about it uh it's actually surprisingly easy to do um so you know i i i feel like it's not even my fault it just kind of creeps up on you you know when you're playing the game and you're and you're doing the mordor um Level 30 seems to happen fairly quickly. We're going to load in and take a look at this new... There's supposed to be a new weapon for the... Z there's multiple new weapons, but there's a new weapon for the Zealot, which is, after playing all the classes, I think the Zealot... The Zealot and the Psyker are my two favorites, and I bounced between the two. The Psyker is wonderful as, like, artillery. They're awesome. They, they're, the power to cleave through hordes with warp energy is really, really powerful. Um, but then the Zealot's really powerful, too, because it has really powerful cleaving two-handed weapons, uh, as well as a secondary weapon in the form of, like, a flamethrower, for example. I mean, they're just built to take out hordes. I I started the game with the uh, veteran guardsman and thinking it was going to be my favorite and then it ended up not being. But my favorites evolved as I got characters and abilities and perks. So the characters from level one are very different. Uh, it's a very different feel playing level one versions of the characters versus level 30 versions of the characters with all their perks and equipment. 
That's really what it is. I hate the level one Psyker. I hate it. But the Psyker, but the level 30 Psyker with my gear, I love to death. Are we dropping frames? Okay, hold on. There. That should do it. Is it doing it? It looks better. I think it's recovering. I think it's recovering. I think, I think you, know, you know? Oh, I also had to do it in windowed mode last time. That's right. Right? Now the frame should be better. Why are we still dropping frames? That that should not be happening. Hold on. I feel I feel like every time they do an update they they break performance. Then they fix it, and then they do another update and break it again. What do you Um, like last time this was fine why are we still tanking frames okay I haven't lost any more frames now it's better it should be better now I'm just watching it I think it had to go through all the frames that it dropped first and recover <clears throat> I cannot wait for this not to be a problem in the future um I mean, I, I literally have everything on what it was before when I, I streamed it no problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of everything, right? Uh, we don't need to sharpen stuff. Who sharpens anymore? That's off. That's off. All of that is off. I don't even know what lens quality is. I'm turning it off. Does seem to be fine now. Yeah, it does seem to be fine now. We're going to see. We're going to see. Where's the new mission? There's a new mission. It is... All right, I would probably have to set up a private game to choose. So, I forgot. You can only play the missions that are on the board at the time. And they refresh periodically. Like, in 30 minutes. Uh, there's new conditions. And also, there's timers on each one of these. Five minutes, six minutes. So, these all refresh periodically. Um... So we're not going to necessarily be able to play the new mission right away. But if I just queue up for normal, then, then we should. Okay. Should be fine, right? Yeah, it seems to be better now. Okay, so what weapon... Oh, here we go. I think that's it. I think, isn't that the new weapon? Hold on, I think that's the new weapon. According to the update, the new weapon for the Zealot is the Mark Indignus 
Crusher, two-handed power mall. Okay. Whoa, why did it take me back here? I don't know why it took me back to the main screen. The power mall is the new weapon for the Zealot. I think that's what I have. Which is odd. Why do I already have it? Their announcement today says that it's new. Kind of weird. I don't know why it booted me back to the main screen, but I hate it. Did I click something? I don't remember clicking anything. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is it. The Indignus Crusher. Power Mall. Okay. What is this? A penance? Oh, those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what those are. Those are those optional challenges that you can complete and earn special points for that you can use to requisition special guns. But really, they're just... They're just versions of the other guns, so it's like if they're not better than what you currently have, they're not worth buying. The and they're usually not better than what I currently have, now, so... The heretics are pumping that poison in from there. You know the drill. I do not Try know. What is going on here? Is it... is it a... <coughs> no? Everything seems fun. I don't know. I do not know. This game likes to drop frames. It's at least playable. It just loves to drop frames. Okay, so let's check this out. Ow. I don't like playing it in windowed mode, though, and last time I didn't have to. So I'm going to quickly put it back in borderless window and see does that work do we drop all the frames when I do that I know it's gonna drop some So that, that, the power mall is nice. Is it dropping all the frames? It looks fine. I much prefer it like this. I, it looks like it's not dropping any, any more frames. So it may occasionally as we play, but right now it seems to be okay. Whoa. Ah, wow. I, okay. I'm over here now. Ow. That's... I didn't volunteer to be over here. Uh, that just kind of happened. It just... it just kind of happened, you know? Ooh. Interesting. It it's it doesn't really have a lot of AOE. Oh, oh hi. It, it's got some. It mostly causes others to stumble. It's cool, but I just don't think it beats the sword, you know? Still doing it. That's really, really annoying. 
I was able to do this last time without an issue. Did I, did it save? It did, okay. I don't know. It hates being stretched to fit my monitor. It, that's the thing it hates the most. Oh no. some days it performs better than on other other days that that's the thing that i i don't get last time i was able to do this on higher settings without dropping frames i don't know what's going on oh wait i do know what's going on hold on i know what's going on i don't really have time to fix it right now but i will fix it in a minute I turned the frame rate up on my on my model and forgot that I did that. That's that's what it is. That's what happened. I'm running at twice the frame rate that I was. I need to fix that. Listen, I don't have time to fight you guys. I gotta fix this. There. Okay, alright. Would you stop? You're hurting me. There we go. That should do it. Ow. Yeah, I don't really like them all. I gotta be honest. I'm not a fan. It's... It's, it's good for individuals. How are you still dropping frames? How is this even possible? I do not understand. No, get away. I'm Ow. I'm just getting messed up because I'm trying to fix my graphics. But I've dropped a grand total of 4% of my frames. You know what? I'm just going to die to fix it because I need, I have to fix this. Uh, it's driving me nuts. What did I not do? Oh, right. Put it in regular full screen. Oh, well, what is this? Is it better? No, it's not better. If anything, I think it's worse. I don't get it. I honestly don't know. I don't know why I was able to do this just fine last time. And now I can't. I, just... I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Nothing has changed. I already changed the thing back to the way it was before. Yeah, excuse me, sir. Yeah, it, it was totally fine last time I streamed. Okay, it's not dropping frames now when it's in windowed mode. But last time I was able to do it in borderless. So it didn't look squished. And I don't know why I can't now. And I... While you're getting attacked by everything in the entire world is the wrong time to try to fix it, but it's also the only time you can mess with it because you don't know how it's going to perform otherwise. Which I hate. We're just also getting completely messed up and our team's not playing as a team. Which isn't helping. Guys, you can't just leave everyone behind. Come on. We got it. We got to take this guy. We got to take him. It's fine now. Good. Yeah, that's because it's in windowed mode. <laughs> With everything turned down. I had it. I don't know what happened. I had it at a decent resolution with good settings. Well, I'm on the thing now, so I'm safe to change this, but... 
Is it, is it just my render settings? All I changed was the FPS on my render. I put it back to 30 and I minimized it. And last time I did that, I was able to play it in borderless. I wonder. I'm going to close this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't get it. Okay. Maybe I can test it in here. Now, in theory, that should be fine. But for some odd reason, as soon as I put it in borderless window, it just starts dropping frame. What the hell? I don't know. Unfortunately, I do believe it is just a matter of the fact that my graphics card is not good enough. But what's funny is it performed last time, so I really do not understand. But we'll just put it back in windowed because it likes that. We are going to turn it up to... This. Yeah. Could be better. So it's not all squished. Okay, we're not dropping any frames like this. Okay. You're doing good. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm impressed. All right. Let's do another one, but this time with less having the mall. I did not like the mall. I just didn't. Can I? I hate. Can Time I? For a bit of counter Damn work. it. Let's dump some nice it's a match in progress, combat, which means I can't change my weapon. No. Time, so no. I don't want the mall. No. The no. Once in, upload the data package to the cogitator, right? I Johnson. hate the mall. It's not, it's just not. Also, this screen always lags the worst out of it. Out of everything in the game. There could be a hundred enemies on screen and it will perform better than this screen. Oh. All right, so. Uh, I guess we can use the mall. Well, the mall hates you too. Yes, I hope so. I have th this thing just it could be so much better than it is. It, it's just it's not good. Uh, they've done a good job on every weapon so far. But this mall is just I don't know. I'm not I'm not here for it. No, I'm not here for it. It just doesn't do the damage the swords do. Um It has this which, you know, does a little bit of a, a little AoE, but not much. Honestly, the power hammer does more. So if you want blunt force power weapon, the power hammer is better than the power maw. Eight. BK's got the the lightsaber out. Yeah, 
Yes. I mean, I will, I will give it to the mall that it can knock over groups, but again, so can the hammer. The hammer is blunt just like the mall, and it has a bigger, better power attack than the mall has. It's just objectively better. Oh! There's um, a lot of enemies, and for some reason, these a-holes keep running from me. Stop running. Let me kill you. <laughs> that, that hound was trying to ambush me. So I jumped off the side. Oh, hell yeah. For a minute there, I thought I couldn't curse. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, no, the timer on that ran out ages ago. Station. Taking a shot. What is going on here? Ooh, ooh, what happened? A horde spawned, I think. It just started performing really bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We gotta reload. the power hit with them all that's nice hold on i'm hitting giant groups of enemies because that's all this weapon is good for. yeah i think I think Power Hammer is just a better version of this. It's possible this does more group moving. I've not directly compared the, the its ability to move groups of enemies with a swing. I know they both can do it, I just haven't compared the amount enough to know. I trust they are I'm free. coming. Kill the ow, ow. I'm being shot. I'm being shot. Uh, that's an enemy augurin. Does anyone want to... There we go. I was like, does anybody want to, like, take care of that? There we go. Perfect. Yes. It's just something very cathartic about this game. Traders run. Everything for sale and a water cartel took his cup. I am Oh, I was gonna get him. Military station! Yeah, probably, Luna. <laughs> I don't know what the, like, whoa, what the daily expectations are. Oh, as with all things, you know, there's just like 
in a, in a society like this, as long as you keep up appearances, then you don't technically, you know. I don't know what the daily expectations are, though. Probably, well, I'm, I'm sure it greatly depends on who you are, right? Everything in the, it depends on who you are, what rank you hold, you know, what... Are you a lowly factory worker or are you, you know, a a member of the like the governing class on a planet or, you know, there's so many, so many different things you can be in the Imperium and all of it dictates what you're expected to do. But if you're just a regular person, yeah, the Ecclesiarchy definitely expects you. But I imagine you can just lie. Oh. I don't I don't think they like take roll call at church or anything, you know? I, I think you can just lie. Because there's a lot of people in the 40k universe that don't believe the Emperor is a literal god. <laughs> Eliminating primary target. Woo! Tranquility comes a step closer. The uh As we've discussed before, he had no intention of that happening. In fact, he strictly forbid, forbid religious worship in the Imperium when he was alive. Uh, but, you know, thousands of years does something to people. Um, and so... If you lose the servo skull, I shall look to you for a replacement. Oh, it's over here. If I remember right, the Space Marines, the Space Marine chapters do not believe uh, that the Emperor is a god. Oh. And you would think they, if anybody, would believe so. But they have, they have knowledge, they have knowledge, uh, records and stuff kept by their chapter that the rest of humanity doesn't have. And so they remember a lot better than the rest of humanity does. <laughs> and it helps that they live for a long, long time too. They live for hundreds of years as opposed to the average human. Sometimes as much as like a thousand years. Whoa. So why don't they tell people about those? Well, I think it's along the lines of not wanting to make an enemy of the Ecclesiarchy. Because the, 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 the Ecclesiarchy is, is basically the name for the church that worships the Emperor. Uh, they are a powerful faction within the Imperium. And the Imperium, if it's anything, is basically a conglomeration of factions. Like, we work for the Inquisition, which is a faction. The Space Marines are another faction. The Astra Militarum is the regular military folks like the veteran sharpshooter. Um, you know, there's lots of different factions and they're all powerful in their own right. And you wouldn't want to necessarily make an enemy of of the of the Ecclesiarchy like that. I, th I think is why. Somebody who's more into the lore probably knows exactly why but i don't <clears throat> somebody who's read who's read the books probably knows i've not read a single book you were once a pauper and a criminal and now you are an inquisitor's hand how when i had nothing grendel raised me up gave me purpose your 
Also, I, I, I bet, I bet the number one reason why they don't is because the last thing the Imperium needs right now is division. And the one thing that the worship of the Emperor has done is unify. So they, the Space Marines know that if they just, if they start, if they start shit and create like division in the Imperium and maybe even leads to a civil war, then, then it's gonna weaken their ability to fight. And currently they're on attack they're, they're under attack everywhere. They're struggling to survive. The Imperium of Man is in survival mode at this point. And so they don't want to do anything that would make them less effective in war because that is the only thing keeping everything at bay. Otherwise, humanity would crumble. That's probably the real reason is they don't want to make it such that the Imperium is less effective at defending itself. <laughs> Until they get the whole defending themselves under control, uh, they're, that's, they're not really worried about a whole lot else. I bet, I bet if a Lorehound was able to like, like had an answer, it would be something along those lines. It would just be too damaging to the Imperium to try to spread the message that the Ecclesiarchy is wrong. Not to mention the fact that it would very likely start a civil war. And it would put them at odds with the Inquisition, which wouldn't be good because the Inquisition has has ultimate authority. Oh, you went down in a really bad place, my friend. You went down in front of a horde. Hold on. Honestly, the Inquisition's not really, that's not like their thing. They're not about enforcing the worship of the Emperor. That's the Ecclesiarchy's job. They're more about make, they're more about rooting out the forces of chaos and traitors and stuff and trying to find the hidden enemies within the Imperium. Um, and not really too much concerned about whether or not people are worshiping properly they're just like i got k i got demons i got aliens i got all these other things to worry about i don't i don't really have time for that shit. that's another thing about the 40k universe is every faction is so busy with with their their singular purpose that they don't really have time to worry about a whole lot else and so it leads to a lot of stagnation, which is why the Imperium is so stagnated. Everyone's just in survival mode and doesn't have time for anything else. Boom. This is going better than it was earlier. I'll take it. Remedy, reboot. Reboot? I am strongest. Just gotta make sure nobody touches him while he's doing that.
blue. Haha. Uh -huh. Is there another one? There is. There was two in a row. Oh, hi. Ah, the mall. I don't know. I was going to say it's growing on me. Maybe I like it better than I did. But I still think I would be better off with a sword. Because the one thing I really like to be able to do is cleave through groups, which you can't do with this. You just kind of knock them over. Alright, I'll do this if somebody wants to. I got better at that. I used to be really bad about that, and I got much better at it. Oh no. Abomination, where? Yes. Die, heretic. There is. How is it down again? I just fixed it. I literally just fixed it. Yeah, it turns out you can resolve the issue if you press random buttons. Yeah, you know? It's weird how that works. I don't question it though because it just helps me be done faster Ooh. And the, the, on, the, on, the, on that same topic, the, the factions that don't see the Emperor as a god still revere him as a great man. One, one of the greatest that ever has ever existed. Um, and so out of reverence, a lot of times they, you know, stay silent on stuff like that. Like the people that don't believe he's a god still think he's a great a great guy. Even the orcs. The orcs, it's canon that the orcs respect the emperor. Because they respect uh fighting prowess, and he was immensely powerful in combat. <clears throat> to wound him like he is now where he's like a stuck in a decaying body while his soul is technically in the warp. In order to wound him like that, it took one of his sons, basically a, all the Primarchs were made from his DNA, basically. And uh, so it took one of his sons having similar DNA to him and then him <clears throat> plus the combined might of all the traitor legions and the chaos gods imbued Horus with their power and then that was able to put him on par with the emperor who was according to legend holding himself back because he still thought he could save Horus and that's how Horus landed a, a mortal wound on him and then once that happened, the Emperor unleashed his full power and obliterated him. But but at that point, he'd already taken the wound. Your word is so, my law. he was very, very powerful, even though he was a man. He's, all, he's also a very powerful psyker. One of the most powerful that ever, that like, is in the lore, I think. See, this power hammer, I think, is the way to go. I think that's it. And then we have 
this. Flamethrower and Thunder Hammer. I think that's the combo you want. That or the bra the legendary braced auto gun, which is also really good. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I haven't used I I've I've never used the legendary braced auto gun. Mages do be powerful, yes. Oh yes. We've Absolutely. Next assignment is a sanction reductors in HUD zone HL 1866. The torrent to some. End waypoint is judicial. Alright, we're gonna try out this new setup. The target can be found within. I, I, if I remember right, the Thunder Hammer is better than the Maul in like every way, but we will see here in a minute. Mm. He was also, uh, the Emperor was also a mountain of a man. So not only was he powerful in combat, he was also functionally immortal. He'd lived for tens of thousands of years. Um, and he was huge and he was a powerful psyker and a powerful um, com a master of combat. So, you know, he's just an impressive being by himself he's like 10 feet tall or something like that he's huge um and so he's an impressive human being and so you can see how somebody that big and impressive who single-handedly took the imperium from what it was at the time that he started to try to fix everything which was a bunch of warring tribes on earth and unify it and then set out across the stars and claim uh, a million worlds for the Imperium. I mean, he's a great guy. Like, in terms of accomplishments and pure power, one of the best that's ever existed. And so you can see how that would lead people to worship him. <laughs> Especially over the course of thousands of years. That's like a, that's like a game of telephone at that point. That's how, that's how things become myth and legend, is actual events being skewed over the course of hundreds or thousands of years in a, in a game of telephone. What you get at the end of the game of telephone is never what it started as. Ugh. Boom, there we go. Yeah, so far, I love the Thunder Hammer's just so good. I think it's just the same thing as the Maul, but better. It also, I think, has more reach. Some of your parts is greater than the individual. In other words, group up. Violets are on the wrong floor. Oh, don't stand. <laughs> I was like, don't stand near it. Don't stand near it. I wish there was more modern 40k games that that were single player focused so that it could have more story and more lore. Which is one reason why I'm looking forward to Space Marine 2 so much. It's because it will be exactly that, presumably. I haven't used this brace gun yet. It's pretty good. Because this game, as good as it is, it's not about the lore. It's about killing stuff. Uh...
which is fun as evidenced by the fact that I have four maxed out characters, but I really, really like the lore of the 40k universe. And so any chance to get more of it, I, I, I'm all, I'm all for. Ooh. I like the lore, but not enough to read the books. So like, I love the lore and I'll watch videos on the lore, but I'm not going to sit there and read the books. Because I just don't have that kind of effort for any franchise at all. No matter how much I like it. I would rather see it brought to life is the thing. Like, I like when the, when the media is... I'm a visual person, and so I like being able to see it. Um, so when it's brought to life in form of an animation or a game or even just a lore video... Um, it's better than than reading the books. Someday I might read the books if I ever find myself having a lot of spare time, but I haven't found that in quite a while. You ever find yourself in one of these blocks, Explication? I ought to stay in the cartel's good graces. Let's leave it at that. Thing is, you've got me more interested than ever. Ba -da. Da -da -da. I'm, I'm, I'm really liking the Thunder Hammer. I think it is much better. Also, are we just really good, or are these shorter than they used to be? I think we're really good. Hold on. Power hammer. Ah, hey, hey. Thunder hammer. You remember the part about thunder hammer? Okay. I have, I have an, another. Ah. Damn bullets. Always running out at the wrong time. Ugh. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, that's what I thought. Suck it, nerd. That's one boss down. Oh, they fixed the thing. So at the end of that mission, at the end of the mission where you, any mission where you kill the sanctioned Redactus target, you would always kill it, and then you'd have to wait a good, like, 20 or 30 seconds for it to actually end, so you could kill him. And if you guys remember, I used to debate whether or not you could lose if you died during that 30 seconds after you kill him, because the horde's still coming at you. Um, and it was like that, it was like that since the beta. And it, I, it looks like they just fixed it in this last patch where it ends immediately now because it would it was every single time you'd have to wait all right all this hydrating out i got a leak i'll be right back
Okay, and I'm back. All right, we're gonna we're gonna since we're not playing that many rounds tonight, uh, we're gonna switch over real quick to the Psyker for the remainder. Um, I really really like the loadout I have on the Psyker now, and the the characters once they get their perks they become so much better obviously as as you would hope would be the case uh with with perks but uh, of course you have to choose your perks and you and ideally you would choose the perks that suit your style of play which i tried to do um and with the new weapons and the perks and everything like that the uh, the characters are way better than they are at level one just way better you can still technically do the same mission with as a level one character with the same gear as long as you know the mechanics of the game you can play fairly well um but it's just easier it's just easier yes. can I be of service? um no you can't okay I've got and then my void strike staff yes so technically i have some really good guns for this character but my void strike staff i don't think you understand i don't think i don't know if i've showed the void strike staff but you guys are about to see the void strike staff in all its glory it is the main reason why i like playing the psyker the other staffs are good there's like five different staffs and they all do different stuff and they all have a different attack. They all allow the user to channel the warp in a different way. Um, and and the Void Strike one is my favorite. And you will see why. But basically, you you can you can take you can shoot you can shoot warp energy in the form of like a ball directly through hordes and just kill all of them and it pierces the more you charge it do they need a staff to do it they need a staff to do it in the way that they do it every staff allows them to channel it in a different way so this staff, the Void Strike staff, allows me to charge up like a shot, like this, an orb, and then send it, like that. And like the Purgatus one that I have is is a fl is allows me to channel the warp e energy into a flamethrower. Oh well, they're they're fighting a demon host. Hold on, the, you're not supposed to do that, but somebody pissed it off. Lore wise, um, lore, lore wise, they do. Okay, we killed it. Lore wise, uh, psychers don't need equipment to channel the warp. They that's that's what makes them psychers is their connection to the warp naturally. However. In, if you're a if you're a sanctioned psyker, like we are, then you have you're actually outfitted with uh, some gear to help protect yourself from the horrors of the warp. So like you actually have inhibitors and stuff actually implanted into you to help prevent stuff like demonic possession and things like that. Um, and I'm assuming, and I don't know this for sure, but I'm assuming that that also makes you less powerful than you would be if you didn't have these inhibitors. And so you probably need the equipment for amplification. Powerful psychers that, that are not san unsanctioned psychers that just kind of do their own thing and don't give a fuck. 
can be dip, if they're if they're you know if they're naturally very powerful they can do all kinds of stuff without the need for any equipment oh but you almost always see them depicted with with equipment even the even the even the chaos psychers you'll see them using stabs and things i i think equipment just makes it easier but technically no but also kind of you know what i mean so oh here we go this is what i like You'd definitely be an unsanctioned one. Yeah, you'd be, you'd probably be, you'd probably be a chaos, uh, a chaos sorcerer. I th oh. You'd probably be a chaos sorcerer, and you would probably, if I had to pick your chaos god, I would choose Slanesh. was literally born out of um out of pure overindulgence and debauchery by the Eldar so <laughs> you, you can you <laughs> Lanesh was actually the only chaos god that was created um Technically, lore-wise, once a Chaos God exists, it exists as if it's always existed. But but it's very clearly stated in the 40k lore that Slanesh was born out of the debauchery and um, hedonism of the Eldar. And actually, its birth is what created the rift that splits the uh, Imperium. The thing that they call the cic Cicatrix Maledictum. Um, because it created the Eye of Terror, as they call it, which is the rip in space-time into the warp. <clears throat> which is what we keep getting invaded from. So, it's a pretty big deal. When, when, when Slanesh was born, it, like, I think, if I remember right, it, like, nuked all life on thousands of planets within a massive radius of the event. Pretty big deal. I'll take that as a compliment. You should. It was meant as a compliment. It was also meant as just, like... I think, I think if you, out of all the Chaos Gods, it's the only one you'd probably be interested in. That, or maybe the, uh, maybe Korn, the God of Blood and Skulls. But I, I'm just thinking, Kulinesh for the, for the, uh, you know. Kulinesh is also the sexiest one. You are nothing. Hold your breath, kindred. Rotten lungs serve no one. Cause see, cause Nurgle's a pestilence god. And he's gross looking. And he's all about disease and nastiness. I just 
I don't see that happening. And then there's Korn, uh, which is good, but he's just really all about violence. Um, and then there's Flanesh, which is um, more more about that that their hedonism. And then I'm trying to remember. There was the Primordial Three and then Slanesh. So who's, who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting somebody. Um, they must not have been... How, can I, how am I forgetting? Oh, because I don't like that one. I'm forgetting the one I don't like. Um, oh, I can't remember. I can picture him. I can't remember his name. And he's not... I'm not really... Blood and Skulls sound, would be cool, but sounds like too much work. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I, that's why I picked the one for you that I did, because I just felt like, out of your options, Slanesh is really the only one that I, I feel like, Luna, you would want to align yourself with. And technically you don't have to but once you once you're once you start delving once you start delving into into your powers as a psyker you tend to start delving into the warp and once you start doing that the chaos gods start to try to tempt you and they're very 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 good at tempting humans um well they're good at tempting everyone but ex especially humans, because humans are easy to tempt. Um, so usually, eventually, even if even if you're independent for a while, you you come to to align yourself with a chaos god. <laughs> Unless you align yourself with the the powers that be, which you very clearly stated you would not. So. <laughs> oh. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna stab him up, real good. You know, get him a, a few stabby stabs. Okay, I think what I need to do is this, because it can a fully charged shot can hit him with stumble can stumble him, which is really good for a plague ogre. How did that... No, how did that Chaos Hound survive? There's no way. Why can I not remember? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you guys didn't get this? Hold on. No, we, we technically don't need it, and I'd rather stick with the team. Um, what is, what is it? I need... I want... Uh... I know we're on the wrong floor. Hold on. Zinch, God of Change, Sorcery, Fate and Hope. Yeah, so that's the thing. All the Chaos Gods are technically, they're known for one thing, but they all represent a set of things and ideas. Um, so just because, so like, for example, the, uh, Zinch is the power, the god of change, but he's also the god of sorcery, also fate, and hope. Uh, Nurgle is the god of death, disease, despair, and decay. Korn is murder, rage, and battle, and war. Lanesh is the dark prince, god of pleasure, pain, sensation, excess, and desire. So that's why I picked Slanesh for you. Because I feel like out of all those options, that, that's what it is. And um, uh, Zinch was the one I can't remember because it's just like, nah. 
I'm just not really I'm just not really into into him. He's also like a giant bird. And I just I just if I had to choose a Chaos God, it would be Slanesh also. That's probably how come it's one of the only Chaos Gods to ever be born out of the actions of, of, um, of the galaxy. <laughs> Cause that's why the, that's why the original three are called the primordial three because they they existed prior when well, technically exists as if he's always existed but technically he was created by overindulgence and excess um on a galactic scale heretics don't always make same choices the name is something of a The lore is just so fascinating. I that's why 40k is my favorite sci-fi universe. I love Halo, you know, and I love Star Wars, and I love a lot of sci-fi franchises. Um, but 40k is just so, in, just so different and so unique, and the scale, the scale is always what gets me. The scale of, of everything that happens in the 40k universe is, is uh, just really cool. Alright, I'm gonna put this down. Woo! It fades to black so much faster now. We're no longer stare, sitting there awkwardly for 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds waiting for it to end. We did that 17 minutes. That was record time. The, the matches can take anywhere between like, I've had them as little as 15 minutes and as much as 40. Um, it just really depends on your team and how much trouble you guys have. The teams have gotten better though, as the game's been out longer for a couple reasons. People have gotten more used to the gameplay. They're better at it. Uh, they've also unlocked more skills and weapons. Um, and so the teams have just gotten better on launch. They were, uh, most of my teams were, we barely would finish the level. Sometimes we would fail, but now I feel like we almost never fail. I don't think I've lost since launch. As the I, I think one time recently I got a team that uh, had some new players on it and we, we lost just because of a bad set of circumstances like two chaos hounds at once pinning two people down and then the other two getting overwhelmed. Stuff like that can happen and, and kill your team, but it's pretty rare. I'm also only playing on normal. I could play harder difficulties. But the thing is, all it does, from what I've seen, and I've done it, is it just gives you more money and XP. Well, I'm max level, so I don't need XP. And I don't really need money because I don't, I bought everything I want. I check the store periodically because it rotates to see if there's a better weapon. But, you know, one weapon every so often doesn't break the bank. I got... I got 10,000 gold on this character, but I had like 60,000 on the other one. I don't, um, I don't need more money. And so there's like not a lot of reason for me to play the harder difficulties. They need to add a reason. Because right now, like, 
all I would get out of doing the hardest difficulty is 20,000 gold. That's it. That's all I get. And a bunch of XP, but I'm already max level, so it's irrelevant. Um, so I just play on normal, because I'm like, I, it's literally just a money difference. I don't know. Let's do, let's do a, um, a harder one. What do we have? Uh, this one's about plague residue. This one is about the fuel refineries. I like this one a lot. You get the pride of beating it. Yeah, I don't have that. <laughs> I get that, that that that's a thing for some people, but I don't derive pride out of playing on harder difficulties. It's funny, no matter how good I get at a game, and I can get really good at some games, um, I usually just end up playing on normal because the way they go it depends on how they went about difficulty it really comes down to that some games will go out of their way to make the gameplay a different experience on a higher difficulty in which case i can be convinced but a lot of times and probably most of the time all they'll do is just make the enemy hit harder and it's like i i i don't that doesn't add anything like I don't it, I it's just annoying I just find that annoying so you can destroy the pathogen by building overpressure in the incubators first you need to get access through flow control Rather you than me I tell you I and this game is one of those where it face. seems all all I can discern so far with the difficulties is you have less healing items the enemies hit harder. Um, and yeah, you just, less supplies and the enemies hit harder is really it. I think they throw some more specials in there, but it's like not really noticeable. When you're already cleaving through all the specials that are currently sent after you, it's just a couple more. So it's like not even really noticeable. It's the way game developers go about difficulty is... I don't know. I just, I don't like the way most of them do it because it's very artificial feeling. I like when they change the game. Like if playing on a hard difficulty adds more enemies or something like that. I like that. More stuff to kill. Yes, give me that. But the exact same enemy hitting five times harder is just annoying. And uh, it just doesn't do it for me. ultimately what it boils down to and 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 i'll explain aside from feeling annoyed aside from that feeling um the other thing that happens is it just boils down to taking more cover that's it that's that's the game as the enemy hits harder it just makes you have to take cover more and play more conservatively um which in a game like this makes it less fun because this game half of the fun of this game is being able to run around and myrtleize everything in fancy ways right which you you can do less of when you're trying to be conservative and safe in how you're playing so that's just how i feel about it oh Woo. Ooh. Ah, yes, stairs. Yeah, 
this. I call the warp. Have some of this, and so oh, there's. Oh, hold on, I got this. Oh, the, oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's a lot more of those than I thought there was. We're gonna. I'm gonna be honest. I may have fucked up. Okay, yeah, I definitely fucked up. Wow, there was so many more of them than I thought. Holy shit. And I'm pretty sure I saw an uh, an Ogren, uh, Chaos Ogren, as well. Yeah, there he is. There's multiple Berserkers and an Ogryn and a horde of armored enemies. I did not mean to. I fucked, I fucked that up. That's my first death in a while. Holy crap. I've been off more than I could chew because I didn't look. I just rushed straight in. I'm just so used to being invincible. Like I, I, I finish a lot of games now without taking much damage. There we go. Free me. Yeah. I thought you were gonna free me. Reaching the Imperium. I mean, you do know you didn't actually free me, right? I don't think he knows. I think he thinks he got it. I'll just wait. <laughs> Is it working? Don't think they know. I think everyone forgot that I'm not actually rescued. I think everyone legit forgot that I'm not rescued. Please remember, I can't ping or anything. Oh, good. They remembered. Holy shit. They forgot about me for so long. Thank you. Okay. If we carry on, we're trapped. I was picturing them jumping over, and once you jump down, you can't get back up. So I was picturing them doing that, and I was gonna be like, oh, oh no. Wouldn't be the first time something like that happened. I guess I gotta, I guess I gotta play a little, a little more seriously than I usually do. If I'm gonna be bum rushing in like that, like I'm doing right now, because that is exactly how I died. Am I gonna not do it? No. It just means I have to pay more attention. Which, admittedly, when I play a game that I've gotten comfortable with, I, I, I don't. I, I tend to pay less attention. The, the more, the better I am at it. Okay. Um, well, here's the thing. Where's my team? There it is. All right, perfect. Oh, no, 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 Why is there a machine? What is happening? How am I taking so much damage? Wait, am I playing on harder difficulty? Oh, I am. Oh, I forgot. Oh, that makes so much. S I understand everything now. I forgot I was playing on the harder difficulty. I was playing like I was playing on normal. I was just kind of running in. I understand why I'm uh, taking more damage now. Because I'm playing on a harder difficulty I forgot about. If this were a professional outfit, I need to be more careful. Because the difference in damage is pretty high. I feel like you I feel like every difficulty it's like at least twice as much damage as the one before. And so it's pretty considerable, especially when a machine gunner opens up on you like that one did. Do not piss off the demon host. Don't do it. Just don't 
Don't do it. I love when my enemy just disappears in front of me in a red mist. God, I think they gave him more health too, which is just, it, I hate bullet sponges. The answer to difficulty, I've said this before on stream and I will say it every single time it comes up. The answer to difficulty is not making everything a bullet sponge. Okay, I am doing the very thing I said that I wasn't going to do, which is not being careful. Ah, get me out of here. Goodness, what is hitting me? What am I being shot? Oh my God. You forgot that very quickly? Yes. I did. And I still haven't adjusted to playing more careful. It's just not as fun to play more careful. I like being a berserker. I like running in and killing everything. Uh, there we go. <gasps> Robin! What's going on, Robin? I'm a potato. Potato? I did forget I was playing on a harder difficulty. This is true. I like actually totally forgot. It happens very quickly. Listen. It, I, do, I do not recommend ADHD. If you can avoid it, um, definitely avoid it. think so hound get out oh oh boom this is why i like the void staff because you can just void staff all day this is why I like the Psyker. You just become artillery, basically. Void Staff. Fully charged Void Staff shot has such... And it, it, it just... It pierces groups and it explodes. So you can take out massive groups of enemies with one shot. And the, it doesn't cost ammo as long as you... You know, manage your energy consumption. Okay, we have to purge the unclean. Robin. Uh oh. Oh, he's down over there. We gotta get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working on it, but we gotta get our team together, you know. Well, that's what happens when you ruin your game, you know? Then fan-made servers usually become more popular than your official ones. I don't know if they have, but I assume they did something to make that the case. Usually changes the community doesn't like or something along those lines. Ooh. Ow, ow. 
let the warp flow. You know how it is. You gotta let it flow, baby. Go and hit it. Dude, when I'm not being dumb, I barely take damage. It's just... I, I seriously actually forgot that I was playing on a harder difficulty. <laughs> if this was normal, I'd be running at them right now with a sword. But, um... That's on the harder difficulties. You, you, that's a death sentence, as you saw earlier when I died. Like it's, I like dodging bullets as much as the next guy, but when it just comes down to dodging bullets, it's just, yeah, it's just, yeah. It's free to play while it charges 15 a month. Yeah. With 4K people split among eight servers. Yeah. Yeah, 4K people's like one server's worth, in my opinion. Maybe, maybe two, you know. Not eight, for sure. Even if you, even if you made it a thousand players per server. That's still only four servers. Eight just probably makes it feel like nobody's there. I hate MMOs that have low pop servers. Because then it just feels like you're playing an RPG and nobody's there, you know? That was my problem when I was playing the, uh, the old Lord of the Rings MMO when it came out. Was I never could find anybody. It always felt like I was playing alone. And I wasn't a fan of that. Look at me taking actual cover and stuff. Play what? What do you need to do, Lenny? Whoa! I'm getting shot. Oh, I'm having a bad time. Hold on. There's a lot happening. So I totally figured out what this does. Can I get somebody to hit me? No? Okay. It's parry. Hell yeah, Lenny, did you get dark tide? You got you got the dark tides, Lindog? Danger bean, hell yeah. So much danger in that bean. You have no idea. The bean is very dangerous. Is there another one? Holy. 
Oh, it's on game? Is it actually? Holy crap, it just came out. Help me! Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Hell yeah. Let's we do. Make it happen, Lin Dog. Ooh. What? I don't know what the problem is. Yes. These are so bad right now. It's just really bad. Mm. Oh, yes. Perfect. It pierces when you charge it up, which is why it's so immensely powerful. It just goes through them. Don't think I'm in you should be. Because I'm literally cleaving through groups of enemies with the, purely the power of the warp. Oh, that's weird, Lenny. But that's cool that it's on Game Pass. That's awesome. I've yet to actually get to show anyone the freaking parry because I'm either getting shot at or the melee guys die so fast. Um, was that what I think it is? Yep. Oh, no. Oh no, the cow. Oh no, oh no. This is for that pace. Okay, I need this. Yes. Oh no. And oh, ah, I got hit. No, yes. I'm trying to take out the groups because that's kind of like my job as the psyker is to get the groups as best I can. And when you have a piercing exploding shot like this, it can really do a lot. Are there more enemies on the higher difficulty? Because I it, did, it didn't seem like there was, but this, this is a lot of enemies. It's more that I feel like I, will not lose control. I, will not. I haven't really noticed there being more enemies, but maybe there is because uh, that was a lot more than I'm used to. Ammunition expended. Yeah, having parry is really good for the berserkers because they just start wailing on you and if you parry it you immediately counterattack every time they try to hit you every time you block you immediately counterattack when you parry which is really nice I think. 
Boom! Ah, I see. You're not dedicated enough to be playing two again. I understand. <laughs> Oh man. I hate this part. This part can be really, really tough. I think there's more enemies on higher difficulties. There may not have been before, but there is now. Just have to cool down, you know how it is. Who's inferior to one in three? Ah, I see, I see, okay. Understandable. I hate the main character in two? Ah. Even more understandable. Bit like a Shinji getting the robot kind of thing, or. Okay. Take more damage at the higher difficulties too. So you want to have better weapons. We finally saw Evangelia 3.0 plus 1.0. Was worth the decade wait, was it? Was it worth the decade wait, Robin? Oh, hello. I like having that emergency let the warp flow button where I just kind of send out a force push in the general direction of everything in front of me and it sets them on fire with warp fire. In case you were wondering, warp fire is better than regular fire. Ooh. Dude. Just the sound of it cleaving through a group of enemies is just so satisfying, that crunch. They did a great job with the sound design in this game. The sound is so good. I was like, where's that? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Lenny. That's hilarious. Your incompetence is showing. So it is kind of a Shinji situation where they're just not a strong protagonist. Is what you're is what you're describing to me. basically have to survive long enough for the Voices. for our, our dead inter interrogators to do their thing you know how it is I very much did that very I very much did that specifically ages ago. There's a there's actually a small list of words that are banned. Just because they were words that got people banned by Twitch, so But I'm still gonna say there's words that are technically against the rules that they're not enforcing. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say ass and I'm gonna say damn. 
and I'm gonna say both of those as many times as I want. But technically, I'm not supposed to say either one. But they can get fucked if they think I'm not saying damn. It's just, it's just, don't get me on a tangent, but it's because of the, it's because of Twitch's knee-jerk reactionary banning of words that where they just take something that someone used harassing someone else and they ban it. If, if, if bots or trolls start using an innocuous word and in a way that is offensive, Twitch's response is just to ban that word instead of doing anything else. So, so they just, so it just gets ridiculous. Technically, another phrase against the rules is actually the Civil War wasn't about states' rights. And the reason that that is against the rules is because it's an inflammatory phrase that's meant to just garner chaos and, 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 and argument. It's, it's, its sole purpose is to sow discord. A huge bitch. Yeah, we can say bitch all we want. That's so. It's. So, it, don't get me started on Twitch and its inconsistencies. Yeah, we can say bitch all we want. That's fine. That's not on the band word list. Don't you worry, I meant that word in a way that is 100% hurtful toward brats. <laughs> you really don't like this character, do you, Lenny? You're really just not a fan. I'm gonna have to go look this character. I have to look up Xenoblade 2 now and find out why this person is so hated by Lenny. We did it. <clears throat> All right, what do we have? Uh, let's see. So we are technically, we are over on time. You know, it's weird. Mondays are always weird days for me in terms of like who we can raid. Um, There's like not, you all i follow enough people now that there's almost always somebody i want to raid when i'm ending except sometimes on mondays which is just so weird it is like but it is also getting to be the holiday season i mean it's been the holiday season but it's also only we got we got like a week till christmas so you know people may be busy doing doing stuff um, yeah, I see a ton of people praising Xenoblade 2. Like, Xenoblade 2 is perhaps the most famous one that I've seen in terms of just the amount of content online about it, you know? The amount of published content, the amount of memes, the amount of tertiary stuff around the game. There seems to be more of that for Xenoblade 2 than any of the other ones, at least for, for me, from what I've seen. Uh, so I would assume that it was, you know, the best one, but apparently not. Um... Huh. Hmm. Hmm. We, wow. We do not. We just don't. 
Hold on. Who are you? Who is this? Uh, in case you're wondering, we are working on ending. I, uh, I'm just trying to find somebody to raid here. Because none of my usuals are on. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Uh... Blade, you should watch the video that I sent you so you can cram John Sherry. Uh, do you need me to cringe on stream? Also, what, what do you mean watch the video you sent me? What happened? What did you do? What is this nonsense? Wreck the scream? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, that was good. That was good. I like that. I, uh, uh, that was, that was worth it. That was 100% worth it. So, <laughs> you know, you weren't kidding. No, you weren't. And, 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 and at the risk of starting, um, I need to do some just chatting streams one of these days but i just don't feel like we can ever have like a consistent enough conversation to go for four hours without it being awkward and so i haven't done it but like stuff like that i see why the dubbed versus subbed thing in anime is such a big deal for people because yeah like a lot of the english voice acting eh, in the vast majority of anime is not good. Um, it, 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 for some reason, and I don't know why, but that's why the ones where it is good are ones where I actually prefer to watch them in the dub because the characters are, are better portrayed by the voice actors and actresses. Um, like, I cannot, I cannot watch, um, there's just certain animes like Black Lagoon and and um, Cowboy Bebop where the 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 voice actors just portray the character better than the Japanese voice actors in terms of cadence and spirit and mannerisms and you know just everything in and around reading the words it's themselves they just do sometimes the English voice actors do a better job but that is not the norm. Uh, I would say I watch most... I, I default to Japanese when I watch anime. And then if the English voice actors... I always check out the dual audio version, and if the English ones, I feel like they do a better job, then I'll watch it in English. But that's so rare. Uh, it's very rare. <clears throat> Steve Blum's spike is perfect. I know. <clears throat> I know. Yeah. There's just certain ones where I have to watch them dubbed. Uh, and Black Lagoon is another one where they just, they did such a good job with getting the voice actors to portray the characters so intensely and so emotionally that they really sell the character better than the Japanese version. 
Um, but anywho, uh, who, so we're rating. Uh, let's see. I want to thank you guys all for coming. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to do, like I said, we're going to do more Tomb Raider on Wednesday. So stick around. We're going to start the next one, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, which we'll get to see more Jonah, which is awesome because I love him. And, uh, and yeah, and for now, we don't have any of my usuals on. So we're going to go raid Faye, who looks like they are currently trying to play the bathhouse, which is a, um, Japanese horror game made by the same person that made the Chilla's Coffee the coffee shop horror game that I played on stream a little while ago, like what, a month or two, like back in October, actually. Um, it was made by the same guy. And it looks like they are attempting to play that. So let's let's go say hi to Faye. Uh, I don't think I've ever raided them before, so be nice. And uh, there's the raid phrase if you want it. And I wanna thank you guys all. You know, I love you. Thank you for hanging out. Honestly, it means the world to me. And I hope to see you guys all again on Wednesday. So without any further ado, take care. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. she's